Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Welcome back to my channel, and I'm really excited. Today I have something a little bit different for you. Today I'm going to be talking about how I prepare and set up to plan and film a memory spread. So I'm really excited to share this process with you. My memory spreads are very decorative, very stickering, and a lot of fun and very relaxing for me to put together. But there is some prep work that goes into setting them up, and I thought it would be cool for us to take a look at that together. I do pre-pull out stickers in advance so that I can move kind of quickly once I'm in the flow of planning. I obviously film all of my memory spreads, but I think this process will totally work even if you are not filming, even if you're just memory planning for the decoration and the relaxation of it, which is a huge part of why I love memory planning so much. So what I have on my desk right now is my kit binder, some foil stickers, and also my cloud planner, which is my R Estelle cloud. This is where I have my memory spreads in them. They are these very decorative style spreads like here. This is one from winter. And the first thing that I do when I set up to, when I set out to film a new spread is pick which week I'm gonna work on. So now, you know, if you're not behind in your memory planner, then this is obviously a very straightforward thing. You just go to the next week that you were at and start start there. But because I'm currently about six weeks behind in my memory planner and I like to move back and forth between more recent weeks and older weeks as I catch up on these spreads and I don't mind being behind in here at all. This is a totally fun, relaxing hobby. This doesn't keep me organized. It's just something I absolutely love to do. So as I just continue working in my memory planner, I do like to bounce around between older weeks and more recent weeks. Sometimes if something really big happened in a week, I wanna plan it and film it as soon as it's done. That way it's super, super fresh in my mind. But other times I don't mind skipping over a week and it's fun to go back and like look back on some of the weeks over the spring that I skipped and then, you know, and then switch back and plan something more recent. That way I also get to play with a lot of different stickers. I get to use more recent foils that I've purchased and keep current in the in the summer month or whatever month we're going on but then also don't lose track of some of the older spreads so this week I'm gonna be working on a semi recent week I am going to be working on a beach week the last spread in here that I filmed was a catch-up spread that was older from earlier in May so for this week I'm gonna be working on a week that's at the end of June I just chose kind of based on what I was feeling and I really wanted to play with some beachy stickers and this was a very beachy week so in my July kit lineup, I had originally picked out a different kit for this week, but I decided to just swap a couple things around just because of our uh, schedule changes. We had some like beach beach schedule shuffling and I wanted to make sure I had a really fun beachy kit for this week. This was also the weekend leading into 4th of July. 4th of July was on a Monday, but well, which it's not, it's in July. Uh, 4th of July was on a Monday, but we weren't at the beach at all that week and I had picked out this Hello Petite paper kit to use for 4th of July week. It's very subtle vibes. It's just got like a little bit of like a soft red and blue. So I thought it was just like just a kiss of 4th of July is how I would describe it. Um, so I'm actually going to use that, pull this one week forward and use it this week since we really did most of our like family barbecuing and beach life and all of that good stuff this particular week. So this is the kit that I'm going with here. So let me show you what is in the kit. I will still be actually filming this as I go. So the plan with me for this will be a separate video. I'm not sure if it's going to go up before or after so I will link it if uh if it's already up and if not just stay tuned but this is called beach kit it's from hello petite paper it's a reformat from a kit from last year these are the full boxes your functional page now while I'm looking at the functionals on here I tend to pay attention to how much boxes there are and particularly how many smaller boxes there are on a kit just to make a mental note of whether I'm going to need a lot of stuff from my stash or not with hello petite paper there there's a good number of boxes in here so I probably won't need too much stuff from my from my stash because you do get like all of these little pieces and all of these layering items so I probably won't need to put ill pull in too many foil big uh, functionals with regards to that but if I'm using a kit that has less boxes I do just try and make a note of that so that I can pre pull some of that stuff out so that is the kit and then the other thing that I need to know is do I have decorations that go with this do I have florals that match this kit and I actually have two sheets of the florals because Vanessa 
Vanessa from Hello Petite Paper was kind enough to include a second one in my order of this kit. So I have lots and lots of florals and some beachy deco to go on to pull of this. Now we get into the actual pulling stickers first part. So, and of course I'll bring in lots of other foil deco that I have and we will get to pulling that in just a second. So the next thing I do want to just mention before I talk about, before I start pulling stickers to start with this spread is just that I do take notes uh, during, throughout the week, every day on my phone, just with what's going on for the memory planner. It's basically like a little running diary of my life. I use Notion, but you can use any app on your phone for this. I did show this in more detail on my digital planning tools video if you want to check that out. But basically you can just see here that every single day I just keep a running list of what's going on and that way I know what I need even for the weeks that are much further back that I don't remember as well um, to be able to sort of set that up. So that is my my little planning shortcut cheat, cheat sheet for the month, for the week that I'm planning for. I don't like write anything out or like pre-strategize anything like that. This, this is enough for me to work with. Then I basically, I break the spread down into two large chunks. The first is the base of the spread and the second is the day by day. Oftentimes, especially on a really decorative spread, I actually end up filming it in three or four increments, breaking down the day by day piece even further, just as I have time. But in terms of pre Free, like prep that goes into setting up for the spread. I do that in two chunks. So today I am going to prep for the base of this spread. Then I'm actually going to film the base of this spread. I will come back after that. I will show you what the base of the spread looks like. And then we will prep for the day by day, which is a little bit more involved. That's when I actually pull all of my icons and everything like that. So for right now, I'm just going to push my planner up off to the side and we are going to prep for filming the base of the spread by pre-pulling some foil goodies that match the kit out. And then also also picking some washies and things like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave the stickers off to the side here. I like to have that to match like aesthetics and color. And then I've got my four foil, uh, gold foil sticker kit sticker albums here that I use to store my foils. If you have seen my office setup and stickers or my store sticker storage videos, you will have seen these before. Um, I probably won't need the icons right now. I won't need to pre-pull any icons out. And likewise, I don't really need any scripts. Uh, it just depends on th those kind of use for the day by day. But these two have my more decorative pieces that go into the base of the spread. So this one actually has some boxes on it. And I, even though I'm not going to need a lot of boxes, I'm going to grab like a couple of the beachy themed ones that I have. Um, I have these from Letters to Apollo and these from Pretty Pinko that I remembered were in my stash. And I may wanna pull some of those into the sidebar. So I am gonna set those out. And then as well, I have my month stickers over here. And I'm just gonna take a look at like the fonts on the script. Uh, Hello Petite Paper, I feel like uses like a pretty delicate sc uh, script font. So I do think that the Paper Trail Plans ones will work really well. So let me just make sure. This was the June, July Strata Week, but I have June and July on both of these. So I will grab that one. And these are on trans transparent matte paper. Then I think that should be all I need from here. I have a bunch of like bottom washi and underlays in here, but I'm not going to be using those this week. I do pre-pull those as well if I were doing an under an underlay type spread. So next up, I do need some date dots in the front here. That's where I keep my decorative date dots, like my seasonal ones, but I don't have a ton of seasonal date dots. I haven't really been buying these as much lately. And yeah, I don't have enough of the anchors for the dates in question. So I'll have to save those for a different week. Those definitely would have matched the kit, but I am going to just go ahead and grab this is I have this categorized as like larger date dots and smaller date dots basically. Um, and I would like to grab these smaller ones because the Hello Petite paper date covers are really dainty uh, and this the font is really dainty. So I just think that a smaller date dot will match that really well. And then the way that I store this foil is it's just like grouped by by like category. So like all my heart stuff is together. All of my bow stuff is together. All of my winter stuff is together. And that makes it really, really easy to pre-pull stickers because all I have to do if I want my beach stuff is flip to this section right here. And all of my beach stuff is in these two sections. Now I won't 
pull all of these out because that's I have an overwhelming amount of beach stuff but I can look through this and pick out what I want and right here on the top this is some nautical stickers from Pretty Pinko and I definitely want to bring some of that stuff in because there's a lot of anchors in this kit so I think that that will look really really cute then I think I will grab some of these from Letters to Apollo and also from Honey Inked these from last year and then maybe these teeny tiny ones oh the seagrass would be cute too so I think I'll go with that for right now even if I don't use them all it's just better to have them so kind of like pre-pulled that way I don't have to go hunting for things while I am already in the flow of like the planning and everything like that so I like to just pre-pull options and then kind of if I don't use it during the base of the spread and I don't think I'm going to use it during the day by day I will go ahead Ahead and put it away. Now I do have a lot of florals including floral date toppers so I don't think I'm going to use garlands this week so I'm going to set those all off to the side. I think I'm just not in the mood to do a garland plan but I do have like a lot of these really cute dividers and I think I might want to use some of those. Maybe not that one. Um, I like these ones from Letters to Apollo and I may even want like the half shell there so I'm going to pull some of that stuff out and put the other pieces away here. Now, also, because it is a lot of flor florals in the kit and not... Ooh, actually, you know what? The suns would be really cute, too. Okay, anyway, before we jump on to what I was going to say, which was the flowers, I says, I think I'm going to grab some of these sunbursts, too. Just with the beachy vibes, this could be kind of cute. So I have a lot of these as well from Sadie Stickers, um, and I think I will go ahead and grab... Yeah, these ones are my favorite. So I think I'll just grab, uh, this ones are cute too. So I'll grab both of them and maybe even just like the little suns there. Okay, so that, again, if I don't use it, I'll just put it away later. What I was actually reaching for is my spring stuff, which has like my little branches and floral elements because I think I'll probably want to tuck in some little florals to the actual, like, to like add some foil elements to the floral. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of like little leafy branches and things like that. And that should be plenty there. I don't need any like actual floral stickers, but I just want some of like the little leaves and everything to kind of create that look. And then another thing that I'll just grab and pre-pull out is I pretty much use these every week. But these like really plain thin line dividers I tend to like just need them every single week so I'm just gonna pull those out to to the spread right now as well now this is a foiled kit so I don't need overlays or anything like that I love the foiling on this kit it's very very delicate so that is it as far as like stickers that I need to pre-pull but I do also like to pre-pull washi so I actually just pulled out all of my gold washi from the drawers. I love having the drawers because it makes it really easy to kind of pull things out. I'm just going to take a glance through. I don't think I need anything from this drawer. I don't think anything's going to really match all of that while like my, my beachy stuff is a little bit too turquoise. But from this, I actually was thinking earlier that these match, look like they might match super well. So we can unroll some of this. Okay, so the yellow is like a little bit darker, um, but I think it's a pretty good match for this, and I think it'll look really nice with this kit. It's just like a very subtle summer washi. This is an old sub box washi, and it has a matching 10, uh, 15, 10, and five millimeter washi so that's really nice as well I tend to even when I don't use like a bigger washi I do have a tendency to use like the 15 millimeter washies so then other than that too I think one of these peachy colors and maybe a pink is probably good I won't take like a big pink but like a smaller pink um, but it's just a question of whether it's the lighter peach or the darker peach that is the match I think it's probably gonna be the oh actually because there's two. Oh yeah I definitely think it's this lighter peach color there so I will pull that out that's such a pretty color of washi and then I probably just want if not the 15 millimeter but I'll grab the the 10 and the 5 of the pink classic pink kind of matches with with everything so really easy there but also potentially this is the is this blue uh, that blue is like a little bit too teal I feel like I bet I have a better five millimeter blue for that one. Oh, honestly that purple there's not like a lot of that purple in the kit though is there that's interesting 
I guess it's like a little bit more purple than that, but that's really pretty. I like that color. Okay, so then here is my five millimeter collection uh, and I will definitely pull a little bit extra from in here. Okay, so here are the washies that I've pulled out. Now, you will probably say this looks like way more washi than you use in your memory spits, and you're absolutely right. I like to pre-pull a bunch of different things and then put them back if I don't use them because I don't want to have to go back to my washi cart, and I just like to have some options. So those are the washies. Okay, so we're going to get all set up and ready to film now. So I'm just going to put the kit back together and put that onto my planner. When I actually film, I do take the pages out of the inserts, which you will have seen if you've watched my plan with me. But I did just grab this bin. I'm going to store all of this stuff. And I will also store this in here whenever I'm not using it because I'll work on different things in between. I'll often work on not multiple uh, memory spreads at the same time, but I'll be working on, I have like a functional spread going on, a daily duo spread going on, a uh, memory spread going on, all those things, different hauls going on different at the same time. So I like to keep everything kind of contained in its own bin while I'm not using it, but I'm working on it. Um, so I will just kind of stick all of this stuff in here and off to the side while I get set up. So I am going to go ahead and do that now and film the base of this spread. And then in this video, I will be back after the base is done. I'll show you what the base looks like and we will pre-pull my stickers for the day by day. Okay, so this is the base of the spread. To be honest, it's been a little bit longer than I anticipated before coming back here, but I feel like that's been just happening a lot lately. But I am ready to pull the day by day stickers and eventually film the, the second part of the spread. So as you can see, I've got the whole base laid down, the sidebar and everything set up there, and then I'm just ready to go. This is like the part of the plan with me that I typically speed up a bunch and just talk over and tell stories or answer questions or whatever during my plan with me videos and then I slow it down a little bit more while I'm editing to do the day by day where I actually talk through everything that I'm doing in the day and sometimes the stickers that I'm picking. So I have my bin here as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is quickly put away or put a few things aside to go away. So I didn't end up using the the month scripper stickers because this was like the June July straddle week so I couldn't decide whether to use June or July so I just decided to use neither. I don't need my date that's anymore. And then I think there's probably a couple things from in here that I just didn't use and I'm not going to so I could probably put those away as well. Like I, that's I'm probably not going to get used. Uh, these I did use. I did use this but I probably won't need it. Um, grab the little suns. My lines. I did use these. I used these. I think I so I'm just like quickly just taking a little quick peek um, over through there, but mostly I'm just gonna keep some of the, most of this stuff out. So I still keep this part pulled out and just keep it off to the side. If I need anything else from that foil bin, I can just grab it, but I did put that in there. And then washi wise, I don't actually think I used any Simply Gilded uh, in the spread, but I will go ahead and just keep it out just in case I want any of it in the day by day. Um, I'm unlikely to need any of like the larger washies in the day by day because I just don't typically have extra space in my spreads for like larger decorations like that. But I do still sometimes use the five millimeter especially. So I will just keep that out and then in case you don't follow me on Instagram, you may not know this, but I have been filming washi reels, like washi cleanup reels, which are like honestly the, the most popular reels on my Instagram right now. So I just save all of the washi that instead of like cleaning it up right away, I just keep it in a bin. And then when it hits like a critical mass point, I film myself cleaning it up, which seems to be really popular. I like organization videos too, so I can totally relate. Um, but yeah, so here is what I have left from the kit. Tons of decorations and like a bunch of stuff. I pretty much just used the full boxes and a couple of other like decorative elements and typical sidebar stuff there. So I'm also going to keep that off to the side. I like to look at the kit a little bit while I'm picking the stickers for the day by day because I want to match the overall aesthetic of the spread. So I'm just going to push this up a little and then I'm going to talk about what I pull. So I keep all of my character stickers and icons 
in like in separate binders they're stored by shop and I typically will only pick like one or two shops or one or two books of these to pull from for a spread now this is a Hello Petite paper kit so that makes things really really easy because Hello Petite paper is one of my main doodle collections so this binder right here which I am outgrowing has doodles from White Deer Stationery and Hello Petite paper and I will definitely be using Hello Petite paper icons for this week because it's obviously stylistically it's going to match perfectly the uh, the kit comes with some icons so that's super easy for other weeks I just kind of think about it uh, I have Fox and Pip and then once more with love was around here somewhere once more with love and paper and milk which I store together again if you want to see more about this you can check out my sticker storage video and then here I have some old SPC character stickers I use these pretty infrequently but Occasionally I do use them and I, I don't think I'm going to be using those this week. And then I have uh, another more infrequent one here, which is Paper Shire and um, Rose and Tea. So I don't think I'll be using those as well either this week. So I'm going to put that off to the side. I'm just kind of debating if I feel like using like a character sticker with this kit. I honestly actually like think that that might be a little bit cute. So... Especially because this was the first week of camp. I think I may use some like munchkins and paper and milk ones. I when for me these match so well. I know it's two different shops and two different talented artists. I love both of these shops, but I almost always use these together. I never really go either or on those. I always use them together. Whereas there's other ones like a lot of times I will use white deer stationery and hello petite paper doodles together, but sometimes I just stick to one or the other. So for the sake of simplicity, I really try and limit it to like two to three shops, no more, plus foil icons which I have stored separately. So for today, I think I'll use this binder which is like the once more with love paper and milk grouping that together and then I'll also use hello petite paper icons to match and those will be like the two icons that I use so I have those books out and then of course uh, I will also be using foiled icons especially my foiled icon collection is really like very very comprehensive like this entire thing is just foiled icons and most of them or I would say like 90% of them are from crafts by Towie but I do have other shops mixed in here as well so I have a sticker for literally anything I could put in my planner in a foiled icon. I don't always have a sticker in a character or in like a non-foiled doodle. Um, a lot of a lot of times I do I have something but between the combination of foiled icons and the like character stickers I can almost always find a sticker for what I want and if not I just like fake it with something close enough so I am going to put that out as well and I'll use a mix of these three binders to pull together the the stickers the other thing I have out here is my gold scripts. Now, I do not pre-pull scripts. This I do put in as I'm going through. These are in like an order that just kind of makes sense to my brain. They're not like alphabetical or anything like that, but they just it's just an order that makes sense to me and I decide as I'm going whether or not I'm going to write something down or uh, use a foil script for it. I'm pretty familiar with my script collection. So I don't pre-pull anything from that. I, I don't like to pre-pull that. I just keep that together and then I put those away right as I'm, as I'm, as I'm planning, I pull those out of their thing, put the sticker down and then put it right back away. I don't like pre-pull them and I don't have to clean them up after. So that just works well for me. You kind of have to mess around with your style with this to figure out a system that works for you and you don't feel like is interrupting your flow of planning, but like still gives you enough freedom to change your mind. That's really the balance for me. So again, pulling up my Notion app, to the week in question, which I now have in this like processing category, which just means the spreads that I'm working on. I've got my different stuff going on, all of my days written out and like all of my notes. So basically I just run through starting with the sidebar, starting with them and then onto Monday and pull using these stickers. Uh, pull using the categories. I pull an icon for every single thing. I do not pull the individual icon and stick it on like a reusable sticker note or anything like that. I know a lot of people do that and if I ever am filming like talk through videos or when I used to occasionally film a talk 
when I used to occasionally film a talk through plan with me, I would do it like that because I think that it makes it easier on a talk through one. But I like to have the optionality to change my mind. And so what I do is I just pull the entire sticker sheet and just make a stack of them. So that's what we're going to do. The first thing here, I already like marked down that it was the first week of camp and I already did like the sidebar stuff. So I don't need to put anything icon wise there. I actually might just grab a TV icon out there. Uh, we were watching a really, really incredible TV show this week called The Bear on, on FX and it's on Hulu. Um, and if you haven't seen it yet, I just like cannot recommend enough. Um, and that was like what I wrote down this week for the sidebar. It was just, it's just a truly wonderful show. So I'm just going to pull this out and then I just got to stick it right face down, right like that, because that is where I'm just going to stack these in order. So then on Monday, I'm just looking at my uh, like phone screen here and I might even try and like pop a picture of it on the on the like side of the video so that you can kind of see. Uh, the first thing that I marked is that it was the first day of camp and I think that a Once More With Love sticker will be really, really cute. I'm gonna fast forward through some of this but I will just show you how I get started with it and just kind of how I think about it. Uh, a little bit before I do that. So I'm gonna use, I think, one of these drop-off stickers from Once, Lo Once More With Love. I have a bunch of these, so that'll be cute to mark that it was the first day of camp. Oh my gosh, I just like sitting here thinking about it now. I'm so grateful for camp and so happy, but carpool was such a hot mess, like the first couple of days of camp. It's uh, It always is. I just like had forgotten how, how people just like cannot process the, the rules of carpool. Uh, so I have these car stickers. Actually, you know what? I just used a Once More With Love. So I try and mix it up between the doodles. And I know I have Hello Petite paper cars as well. So I will grab a car from this this stack and use that. It was, yeah, the carpool was just an absolute hot mess. So then it was a work day. And I think I will use a foiled icon for that. And I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you, um, we'll pull Monday together and then I'm going to fast forward until I get to a point where I need to talk to some more. Then Mondays is always a big admin day for me, basically just like getting everything organized throughout the week. Oh, that's really cute on the sampler. So I, I was going to say, I'm definitely going to use a Hello Petite paper sticker for this because I have this sticker that's actually on the grocery list sheet, which is just like this little listing sticker right there. And that's just like one of my favorite ways to mark admin, but even cuter than that. And I, oh no, that's like more writing. I don't know. Even cuter than that is like, I probably actually have those because I buy a lot of writing stickers because I do a lot of writing for work. But that's super cute. I'm going to use that sticker to mark admin. And um, yeah, and then let me just take a quick look. I'm just going to try and remember a little bit what's on the sampler in case I want to use anything from the sampler later. Ugh, and then we had, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this. This is why I love my memory notes because I completely forgot <laughs> that, I don't know, I feel like I don't know if this is the right one, but uh, it was the first day of camp and they accidentally sent the baby home in a swim diaper instead of a regular diaper. And um, if you if you are not a parent and you don't know what a swim diaper is designed to do, it only holds solids, not liquids. And the, like it it's just for swimming. It's not meant for regular. Anyway, I don't, that's not the right sticker, but it made a huge mess. And I was just like, um, I think maybe I'll just use the, honestly, my kid was not upset about it. I was upset about it, but maybe I'll use the baby crying sticker. Uh, but anyway, they like apologized and there's like a lot of like teenagers working at the camp. You know, so it's not like, it's not like it was on purpose or anything. And it, it takes a few days to like iron out all the kinks of, of camp and all that good stuff. So, so, and then that night we watched TV. So I've got a lot of different TV stickers. So here, I, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull a couple different things because I already have one TV sticker out, but I actually want to pull my foil icon as well. Sometimes I do this and then that just means like I haven't fully decided which TV sticker I'm going to use yet. And I, I don't know, just depending on how the way this space looks while I'm planning, I might like either use this like cute one 
uh, once more with love or like this more plain foiled icon if I want to use like a smaller if I need a smaller box just depending on how like the day looks when it's balanced out and then uh that's basically what I did. So that's pulled all of the stickers for Monday. So this was for the sidebar and then these are my stickers for Monday and I just kind of keep them stacked and then I'm gonna move on till Tuesday. But the first thing, uh, and then I'm basically gonna work my way through Tuesday until I hit a sticker that is a sticker that I've already pulled, so. Okay, so now I'm at the very last thing on Tuesday and we just watched TV again, but I've already pulled pretty much every TV sticker that I have out. So what I'm gonna do is just skip over it and then I'm gonna jump right to the next thing. I keep this whole stack beside me while I'm planning and just kind of try and sort them as I go. I leave them in piles around my desk, usually by like the shop. So I'll stack the foiled icons together. I'll stack the Hello Petite paper doodle icons together and I will stack the Once More With Love stuff in a pile. That way when I get to a point where I haven't pulled a sticker, so like, okay, I'm at the end of Tuesday now in my planner and I wanna mark that we watched TV again, but I don't have the TV sticker right on top of my pile, then I I will just reach back into the section that I want and I'll grab the foiled icon or whatever from that. So that's how I do it. I don't know. Again, there's you have to just experiment with what works for you. That what's that's what works for me. So basically, if I've already pulled enough stickers for something, I just skip over it. But like the next thing that I'm gonna mark, I think is that, no, I was gonna say the next thing that I'm gonna mark is work, but I actually did almost no work this week, so I'm not. Um, in a couple of stickers, I'm gonna pull another stickers for planners, but it's gonna be a different one than I pulled on the Monday stickers. So on Wednesdays, it was pajama day and I have these really cute PJ all day stickers from Once More With Love. So I'll definitely be using those. And then and the next thing, like I said, was planners. And the first one I pulled a Hello Petite Paper Spiral Planner. And for this one, I think I wanna pull something else just to have the options. I was also working on my goal setting. So like a TN could be really cute from that. I actually still have the Hello Petite Paper ones pulled over from that. But I think I might also just grab my planning carts. Oh, actually, maybe the stack as well from the the foiled ones just to have the different options. So I just stick them together like that. And then again, when I'm done, I will put them all away. And then I was also reading this week. I have these really cute summer reading stickers somewhere. I haven't used them a lot this year. So I think I will use those. Yeah, these like, even if I wasn't reading outside, it's just a cute summery way to mark reading. It doesn't have to be 100% literal. And then we had a grill night, which I maybe want to put down. Where are my new barbecue stickers? I thought I had new Hello with Tea Paper barbecue stickers. Um, but we also had some drinks and I drank some wine. So, okay, what I'll do is I'll grab this one for the wine and I'll grab the barbecue one from, I have it, I know I have a Crafts by Towie one. I think you see all of this stuff is like organized. Like I have the, the meal icons, then the food icons, and then the, um, then the cooking icon. So again, I have all of this. If you check out my sticker storage video, I'll show you how this is all set up. It's set up in a way that makes it easier for me to do this part and pull all of the stickers. Okay, so I am going to speed through and pull the rest of the stickers for the week. So I, my husband went to a baseball game this night and I was just checking to see if there was a baseball on this because I couldn't remember exactly what was on the sampler. They're not, it's a soccer ball. I'm not sure if I have any actual specific baseball stickers. I am gonna take a quick peek through the samplers, but otherwise I'll use like some other icon to mark that. But that's basically like, it's not something I would wanna buy. It's not like we go to baseball games a lot and the kids don't play baseball, at least not yet. Um, so I'm just checking a look to see if I have any like bats or balls and any sampler sheets here.
and I don't, so I'm just gonna grab a couple different options. I grabbed a little emoticon from Once More With Love, and I actually think I might grab, I could use one of the beer stickers I already pulled from, uh, from, uh, from Hello Petite Paper, that would work well. Might even have, yeah, and I or I have a beer sticker from Cross by Towie, so that would also work well for that. So just a couple different options that are like a little less literal since I don't have the literal sticker I need. The kids were really wonderful that night, but I've already pulled out my like Happy Mom Life stickers from Once More With Love, so I'm gonna just use that again probably to mark that. And then we're looking at, I still got takeout for dinner that night, even though I was home by myself after the kids go to bed, because we usually have takeout together on Thursdays, my husband and I. And then I watched TV that night, so I've already pulled my TV stickers, so we can get back into it. So I have an appointment sticker that doesn't really fit into a category of any of like the doodle icons I have. So I can just grab a general clock appointment thing to mark that. Then I have a bunch of stuff that I just skipped over because it was already duplicated. But now I'm going to go ahead and grab this other car one to mark that my husband did pick up. At Oh, okay, so now here is a moment where I thought I had already pulled this sticker um, or I pulled something similar, but now I've decided that I really maybe want to use this for baseball possibly too, so that's really cute. So what I'm going to do is just grab that, and that, that happens sometimes, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to put away the stickers that I already pulled, but I am just going to add that in as an option there. So I am like a little bit over pulling, but for me, I don't want to have to go back and pull more stickers while I'm planning. It does happen sometimes, but I try and like over, I'd rather over pull than under pull. It does add a little bit of time to my cleanup, but honestly not much. Okay, so now I was looking for co a coffee, like an up and go coffee sticker when I did that. So I'm going to go back and grab that and I am on Saturday morning. And now I am going to grab a bunch of different beach stickers and I'm just going to stick them in the pile. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to want to use, so I am just going to grab a couple of them and the Hello Tea Paper ones and I'm just going to stick them all in all together. I don't want to, I want to make the decision while I'm in the middle of the spread, not right this second, so I am just going to go ahead and grab them. Now, this sheet on top, I have a bunch of these. This is like one of my favorite Once More With Love. She is like the best friend sisters. I use this all the time for kids playing. This one, I only have like this like hugging one and I really want this running around one. So, or this running around one. So I'm gonna pull from the sheet behind it and put this, leave this one in. I'm just looking through here to see if there's a specific sticker that I'm looking for that I, um, that I currently, oh yeah, so I have it. It's this pot, this pot, like meal prep one. I had already pulled it and I just didn't realize that. So I am gonna stick that back in. We are good. And I think that is actually, oh, the last thing is, um, so the kids actually went to the fireworks. This was like July 4th weekend. The kids went to the fireworks this weekend and I stayed home with the baby. My husband did the fireworks poll. So I'm still gonna mark that they went, uh, but I was just seeing if I had something to mark that. I don't think I have, I have fireworks stickers in silver, but I don't think I have any in gold. But I will just, I'll just grab something from the summer sampler. I might use like the flip flops or the seashell or something like that. Just to mark that. Oh, or, or maybe like this from maybe like a party sticker. 
or maybe a party sticker for once more with love. Okay, so that is actually everything for the week. So now I've got a stack of icons in order with some holes missing. So when I sit down to pull the day by day, uh, to do the stickers from the day by day, I just keep the kit with me and I keep this with me and then I just go through and I pick the sticker just to match with the item on the kit. I add in the decorations sort of as I go. And that's pretty much it for how I pre-plan. Like I said, I do the scripts as I'm going or I choose to write things down. Currently, I've been using a uh, Zebra Sarasa clip in a 0 0.5 for a lot of the writing. And then I'll use like a 1.0 or a 0.7 if I want a bolder tip, uh, all of the same pen. That's my current favorite pen. Um, but. Okay, so now I'm ready to do the day by day and I'm gonna film this like a regular plan with me, but I thought maybe it would be helpful for you to see how I actually use the stickers I pulled as like a talk through portion of the plan with me. I'm not gonna do the whole week because we would be here until, you know, next year, but I will plan like a little bit of Monday or maybe all of Monday in a talk through style so that you can see how I use the stickers that I pulled and kind of like what I do with them. So I'm gonna, usually when I would be filming, I would show like be all the way zoomed in and show just the planner but I'm gonna put the planner a little bit off to the side and I'm gonna put the stickers that my sticker stack right here although I'm gonna pull the foil part out of the bottom I just had all of these stacked up so this is my like in order from sidebar to Sunday uh, the stickers that I had intended to use I am gonna stick the sidebar sticker off to the side for a second and circle back to that but then, and then I have the deco from the kit and all of the foil deco here as well and also the actual kit so that you can see kind of how I choose and how I go with each of the stickers. So again, for the sidebar, I had a place, I just was gonna mark that I got a lot of happy mail this week. That's what I had intended there. And then I wanted a little space for the TV. So I think I might use, uh, I would like something smaller, maybe the TV and popcorn one. And I'm just gonna kind of layer that on to the florals. And then I can use that to put in like, I think we started a new show this week. The other thing that I have out on my desk, oh yeah, is that, uh, is my notion with like, you know, the list of things I do. And we started watching this, and we finished it. I think we watched the whole thing this week. Um, this TV show called The Bear on Hulu, which it's from FX and it was just so excellent. So that is kind of what I had intended to put over here. Again, it was just really, really good. Um, so yeah, one of my, definitely one of my like favorite TV shows of the year so far. And it's also pretty short. It's all, like the episodes are only about half an hour and I, there's only like eight episodes, I think, or nine episodes. Um, so then I can just kind of decorate from there. I did draw some hearts and that's something I've been doing in my functional planner and I just I, I like just did that without even thinking about it while I was talking so it I think it looks cute though and then I'm gonna just grab a little bit of shell deco for that. So it's just kind of like a go with what you feel. Okay so then we're ready to do Monday and the first thing that I have to mark is that it was the first day of camp so super exciting. So I'm just gonna take a quick glance through the kit. Again, I would usually do this off camera. I just wanna like check out what the colors are because I love this darker orange color, but I don't think that there's a lot of that in the, like in the kit. So I think that saving that one for kind of like the middle of the spread, there's really only like two pieces of it. Um, and of the darker orange and some of that there's like a couple of other random darker colors so I just want to make sure I like kind of try and balance that throughout the week but I think I'll start with this kind of loopy one and let's grab the munchkin and then for these ones where they're like all the same sticker I just kind of try and match a color from the kit so like really the blue or the orange will work and I have two of the blue left so we'll go with that and then I don't want this to like touch on to the date cover really so I'm just gonna stick that kind of down here and just like a teensy bit of overlap is fine but not and just don't want it to like cover too much of the date cover. So and then I write in and I'm using a uh, Sarasa clip in a 0 0.5. It's a really fine tip pen. I've been loving this pen lately. And I did used to have camp stickers, but I don't, I'm out of them and I, I never really like reordered 
camp customs so that's fine I don't mark like camp every day because you know the kids my big kids go to camp every day but I actually had had those for a while from when my littlest one just went to camp a couple times a week okay so then next thing I had to mark was the the chaos of the first day carpool and I'm gonna use one of the cars and I think I just pulled that up without even talking but I grabbed one with the bow because it is going on that side so the bow will be on that side otherwise I probably would have grabbed the other one and I think maybe for this I want to use something like a little bit like a shape or something small I think one of these is probably good I don't think I like the pink with that pink. Maybe I'm gonna switch it and use this stripey blue. I just didn't like the way the pink icon looked on top of the pink. So sometimes I don't like to write on like pattern ones, like I don't think I would write on this one with the anchors, but with just the stripes it's not that bad. So it just kind of depends on the overall pattern. Then I've got my usual work going on. I'm going to use a script for that. So I think that, I actually think this would be really cute. So we can grab one of these laptops from the Crafts by Tower sheet and just kind of layer this like this. Oh, that's really cute. I love, these are like a newer sticker to the kit format and I really, really like it. I think it's supposed to probably go the other way around, but I kind of like it like that. And then I'm gonna get my scripts, which I forgot to pull. Uh, not pull, I just forgot to grab the kit binder out because my stuff was all cleaned up. So because of the way this looks, I'm going to definitely grab a smaller work script. So I just really just open this. My work scripts are right in the beginning because work is one of the first things I always mark in my planner. Um, so I have some larger ones and then some work ones and some ones that also say publish. And I'm going to grab these work paper trail ones because these are nice and dainty. And also they're on transparent matte. Uh, and I really like the way that transparent matte like lays on the white and on the uh, on like on top of more decorative stickers. So I, I just huge fan of transparent matte paper. So I'm just going to kind of put that like that. And then that's really, really cute because you can layer transparent matte on top of foil icons. You can layer transparent matte pretty much on top of anything. And then I just really I just tuck this back right back in. I'll put it on top since I'm working with this. And then that'll help me to pull it the next time I need to mark work. Or also like if I'm remind me that I'm using that kind of script font this week, although I do mix my scripts. And then I had like, the next thing I was gonna mark was admin. And I think I had said that I was gonna use this like cute little coffee and paper sticker. And then, uh, so it's really hard to see on camera, but my planner has some dotted lines that help me measure things out. And I do typically try and cover those with like something that runs the full width of the page, but not always. But I, in this case, I think I will grab maybe this like dark pink appointment label because I am definitely going to have space for everything. Uh, and that's also like space for everything is another reason I stopped, I like stopped using headers. The first time I did it was actually actually an accident. I had meant to only use like one header or two headers, but I used none and I really liked it. So I've been doing that a lot lately. Um, sometimes I still use them, but not always. And then the next thing that I'm going to mark is admin. I should definitely get like customs that say admin because I don't think I've ever seen those in a shop. If you've seen admin foil scripts in a shop, definitely let me know. Um, or like life admin. Oh, maybe I'll get life admin because that would be cute like in the way that the paper trail plans, they actually have a custom slots opening up soon. Maybe I'll grab that. And then, okay. So then I'm just looking at what I have left for the day and I have only, 
um, like two things left that I would usually put down, which is like that the baby came home in, in a swim diaper and then that we watched TV. But I do have like a lot of space left here. And I think uh, the, another thing that I had put in was that I did like some planner stuff. So I might just like pop that in the top and then put that in the bottom or I might just do a little bit of decorating. So let me just think for a sec. Either way, I'm definitely gonna have enough space to do some decorations. And I actually think with that, I might just go ahead and pop this like right on the bottom with a foil line. I think that'll look really cute. So let me grab that from Sadie Stickers and make sure I'm in frame here. And that will just cover up the dotted line there at the bottom. I like having the dotted lines. I know that like plenty of people offer planners that don't have them, but I find that having them, and the one at the bottom would always be there, I find that having them like helps me really line things up, so I, I like having them. And honestly, even when I don't cover them, you like really can't even see them, so I'm just gonna put that in kind of like that, and then maybe grab some foil leaves to stick out of the sides there, similar to what I did up at the top. Kind of like that. Perfect. And then uh, I'm going to use, I'm definitely going to use a half box for something just because there's not that much going on here. Okay, so I'm just trying to pick. I think maybe this darker blue one. Oh, you know what? That's actually, I'm just trying to like, I was just trying to play with the spacing, but with that, then I won't have to put everything in because I'll just put a, like a little bit of decoration up there and then I can put the thing with the baby up in this section. I am gonna use one of these blue ones and I think I might just layer that with um, You know what I what I'm actually gonna do and this is not something I do all that often but these the full boxes are like not I don't have them lined up all the way evenly I think I'm actually just gonna move this full box just a scotch lower and then I will have all of the space I need to put this um, again this is not something I usually do but I'm just feeling it right now maybe it's the the energy of the talk through spread because I have not filmed I film talk throughs in my functional planner sometimes, but I don't think I've filmed a talk through in my memory planner in like years. I don't, I, I, it's fun to do and they're cool to watch, but they're, it's so long because if you think about how long, it probably takes me around, not including like all of the time it takes to pull the stickers and stuff, it probably takes me like 90 minutes at least, depending on how decorative a spread is to film a memory spread or to like plan a memory spread, honestly, even if I'm not filming, because the filming doesn't, when you're filming like a voice, when you're filming a voiceover spread, it doesn't take you, it doesn't take me any longer to film that um, than it would to like just do it. I mean, maybe like 10 extra minutes to do the, the setup and the outro and stuff, but it's not like the actual planning part doesn't take any longer, um, but it takes me probably like 90 minutes for a, like a, um, a non, like a less decorative spread and maybe like up to two and a half hours on a super, super decorative spread. Although probably that, that would be like on the very left far end. I don't have as many spreads like that. Okay, so that I think I'll use, I think I want something in a lighter color. So maybe this. And I'm gonna, I think I might cover the bow. Uh, or not. No, like that. Okay, even though the bow is sideways, that's still cute. Okay, so then that's actually perfect and I don't have anything else. And then this is TV and the TV needs to go over there. So I have a bunch of different TVs pulled out. So I have this one, I have 
this one and then I have the one that I had for my sidebar which I have just kind of piled over to the side but because I'm using a half box and this was like the night that we started the the show I believe so I'm gonna use one of these again this has just been one of my favorite shows of the year so far and there's been so much good TV this year so I do feel like that's really saying something so I think I'm I use this one this one's really big so I haven't really used this sticker a lot um, yeah, and then I think maybe I'll grab some shells to stick on it, just where it kind of covered up the the floral there. No, I don't like that. I'll put the shell in the in the corner. Okay, so then I was looking for this little leaf deco thing, which I could not, I just like hid on my desk. So then that is my Monday. So now let me slide this over and I'll show you kind of what I have going on on my desk. Let me zoom out a little. You'll be able to see my little markers that make sure I help me stay in frame. So here is the pile that I have to keep going. Now I didn't use this TV sticker, so we need to pile that away but then here is my first sticker planned for Tuesday and then I've got the deco kind of spread all over my desk here so I'm just gonna quickly organize that I do that like kind of in between the days to you know every other day just like as I feel like it starts to get out of control I will do like a quick roundup organization and then I'll try and keep the things that I'm using more towards the top so I have extra boxes over here which I don't think I'm going to be using this week it doesn't look like I use them I've got like all of these shell decos I've already been using these I've been using these little shells and then these ones are probably going to be not as used I do have the sunburst as well well, the leaves are kind of like the essential piece right now um, so I'm gonna pile that up like this and then I have stickers that I already used uh, put this over with the boxes this is my full boxes we've got our kit going on we've got the kit deco Let me actually you can see my whole wide desk the kit deco again and then our the kit boxes. This one is like coming up a little bit, so I'm gonna stick it on the bottom washi page. I will still use that. And then I'm just kind of piling, piling, piling. And then we've got our Once More With Love stuff that I've already used. And I'm gonna stick the TV on top. Got our Hello Petite paper and our foiled stuff that we've already used. So then I can just kind of push these over to the side for when I hit a, a thing in my text that I don't need and push these over to the side there. So then that is everything. So then I am ready to start filming Tuesday. And again, I'm just gonna run through my day on Notion, stickering as I go, decorating as I go, writing as I go, as usual. And I am just gonna, you know, periodically clean up in between like I just did and kind of keep my piles going to keep me organized. And then I just kind of keep going. I generally speaking, I'll plan Monday through Wednesday in one sitting and then Thursday through Sunday in one sitting. Sometimes I do it all the way through and sometimes it takes more time than that because I get interrupted by kids or work or something else that's going on. On, but that is generally what I'm looking for here. So again, I will be back after the full spread is done and I will show you what that looks like and then I will get my stickers all cleaned up. So I will be right back. Okay, so the spread is all finished. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see my desk is a mess from it and I am gonna put these pages back in my planner and then I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna clean up all of my stickers before I film the outro for the plan with me and I personally really like sped up cleaning and organizing videos and I know a lot of other people do so I thought I would just really quick super speed up me cleaning up and putting away all of the stickers so you can see how I do that and then I will wrap this up but if that is not your jam you can feel free to end the video. So first I'm just going to sort them by like shop and type and then I'm going to go ahead and put them back away in their binders. So enjoy!
Okay, that is everything put away and that is everything for this video. So if you liked getting to see how I set up to film and plan a memory spread, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and check me out on Instagram at MyCraftyPlans to keep up with everything going on in my planners. Bye.